Here we go, our next day of math with Grandma. Day 44. Dave's Down to Earth Rock Shop. This is about classifying. Lots of things at the rock shop. Dave's Down to Earth Rock Shop. A package for Josh arrived in the mail. It was from Uncle Nick. Uncle Nick is always sending me cool things, Josh told his best friend Amy. He gently shook the box and something rattled around inside. Maybe it's a marble or a button, Josh said. Josh collected buttons with funny sayings on them and marbles too. He collected comics and baseball cards. In fact, he had the biggest baseball collection on the block. Josh ripped open the package. It's a rock, he announced. Why would your uncle send you a rock? I don't know, Josh answered. He looked into the box again. Maybe he'd miss something. There was a note from Uncle Jack. Nick. It said, this is a rock from my trip to Hawaii. You're such a great collector. I thought you might want to try collecting something new. Rocks are everywhere, said Josh. Why would anyone want to collect them? Maybe it's a special rock, said Amy, but the rock didn't look very special. It wasn't shiny or pretty. It was just a dull gray rock. Let's take it over to Dave's rock shop, Amy suggested. I bet Dave can tell us something about it. Grandma's going to guess. She would guess it was a volcanic rock. Dave's Down to Earth Rock Shop. Small, big. Josh and Amy hopped on their bikes, and when they got to the rock shop, they saw all kinds of rocks on display in the window. Some were small, some were medium, some were really big. How do you like my display, a voice asked. Josh and Amy, Amy turned to see Dave. It's great, Josh answered. Why are all the rocks in different piles, Amy asked. Well, I correct rocks, and then I organize them in different ways. These rocks are grouped by size. Inside Dave's shop, Josh and Amy looked around. Wow, you really like rocks, huh? Rocks are remarkable, answered Dave. They can tell us amazing things, like how the earth was formed and what kinds of plants and animals lived here long ago. What about my rock, Josh asked, and he held it out for Dave to look. Remarkable, Dave cried. Can you tell us what kind of rock it is, Amy asked? Of course, Dave answered. Your rock came out of a volcano. It's called basalt. This book can tell you all about it. Shows how it comes out of a lava from molten lava, and as it dries, it might become pumice if it's really airy, or basalt, or obsidian, which looks almost like glass. Grandma knows a little bit about rocks. She likes to collect rocks, too. So here he's got them by color. Red and brown and black and such. After their trip to Dave's rock shop, Josh and Amy started picking up rocks wherever they saw. And they, when they had a small pile, they decided to go back and see Dave. And they stopped at the window grid. It was totally different. Now the rocks were grouped by color. I like my new display, Dave said. Really cool, said Josh. I never knew rocks were so colorful, Amy said. Rocks are made of, of different minerals, Dave explained. The minerals are what makes the rock different colors. And there are so many colors, it's hard work deciding which group each rock belongs in. Inside the shop, there are even more rocks than before. We've been collecting more rocks too, Josh said. Dave carefully examined them. Remarkable, Dave said, pointing to some strange outlines on the rocks. These are called fossils. Your book will tell you all about them. Fossils are clues about the past. And up near a place called the Pinnacles, right near Grandma's house, 
is a whole column of Missouri state fossil, the crinoid. Used to be a column of plants or animals, and they're little round things, and there's a whole column of them. Clues, does that mean we're kind of like rock detectives, Amy asked? Yes, said Dave, in a way it does. Soon Josh forgot about all his other collections. He and Amy spent all the time looking for rocks. They looked for rocks in the park and in the creek behind Josh's house. Josh picked up some ocean rocks when he was at the beach with his family, and Amy picked up some mountain rocks when she went camping with her aunt, and Uncle Nick sent another rock from his trip to the Grand Canyon. Often rocks that are found on the ocean tend to be round because they've been tossed and turned a lot, and rocks down by Eaglehurst are very rough because they are newly formed and have lots of jagged bits. Every Saturday, Josh and Amy rode their bikes to Dave's shop. They helped Dave sort his piles of rocks and he told them things about the rocks they'd found. One Saturday, the shop window was different again. Josh and Amy saw their rocks divided into three groups. Sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Igneous are all the rocks that are formed directly from a volcano. Metamorphic rocks have been changed, and sedimentary rocks are formed in layers. Sedimentary rocks are usually made underwater with pieces of smaller rocks, plants, and animals. Metamorphic rocks have been changed from one kind of rock to another by heat and pressure. And igneous rocks are made when hot liquid rock magma from deep inside the earth gets cool. It's all very scientific, Amy answered. We'll have to look in the rock book to see what all those names mean. As they helped Dave, Josh started thinking about their collection. We have so many rocks now, I think we should put them in groups like Dave does, he said. We could group our rocks by size or maybe by color or type. Lots of different ways to group rocks, said Dave. One way is to group them by how hard they are. Aren't all rocks hard? Well, some rocks are harder than others, and your book will be show that. It's called Moe's Scale of Hardness. Talc is the softest. It's a one. Gold is pretty soft, too. Diamonds are the hardest. It took Josh and Amy a week, but finally they sorted their whole collection by how hard the rocks were. They found a big box and divided it into five different sections. They carefully put all their rocks into the sections and labeled each one. I used to have a little kit with a penny and a nail and one other thing in it. I forget what it was. I'll have to think about that. But you could test rocks with it. If the penny would scratch it, you knew it was pretty soft. If a nail would scratch it, it was much harder. When everything was ready, Josh and Amy carried the box to Dave's shop. They couldn't wait to show Dave how they had organized the rocks. But Dave wasn't there. Dave and Mudstone have gone rock hunting. Josh and Amy waited all afternoon, but Dave never showed up. Finally, they figured out a way to leave their collection inside for Dave to see when he got back. They put it through the doggy door. The next morning, Josh and Amy rushed over to Dave's shop. They stopped in front of the window to see if Dave had made a new display after his day of rock hunting. They couldn't believe what they saw. All of Dave's rocks had been taken away. The only thing in their window was their own collection. Just then, Dave popped out. Here are my new rock experts. How do you like the new display? Josh and Amy looked at each other and laughed. Remarkable, they shouted. Classifying is one part of math. Figuring out things, how they're the same and different. 
let's assort things to be able to decide whether we should add them or multiply them or subtract them or divide them or just count them. 